Hi, this is Sam and welcome to Logic. Since we're always taught that the conjunction unless is a quicker and more sophisticated way to say if not, my question today is are both these sentences correct? And if they are, do they mean the same thing? Today we're going to analyse when if not and unless can be used interchangeably and when they can't because they mean different things. If you're interested in more of these subtle, tricky, but fundamental differences, here you have a video on if versus as long as, and the one on the difference between if and even if is right here. In school we're taught the correct notion that I'll go home if my manager doesn't ask me to stay can transform into I'll go home unless my manager asks me to stay, which is correct. I'll go to the park if it doesn't rain can become I'll go to the park unless it rains. Remember that the word unless means if not, so it already contains the negative, meaning that the verb after it needs to be in its affirmative form. We can't say I'll go to the park unless it doesn't rain. We can only say I'll go to the park unless it rains. But it is possible to have a negative in the main clause, so the same way we can say I won't go home if my manager doesn't say I can, we can say I won't go home unless my manager says I can. So we have I will go, which turns into I won't go in the main clause, but after unless we still have the affirmative verb says we can't say unless my manager doesn't say I can. So, since I'll go to the park if it doesn't rain and I'll go to the park unless it rains are both correct and mean the same thing, it's only natural to assume that these two sentences are both correct and mean the same thing too, right? Well, these are both correct, that's true, but they do not mean the same thing. Let's take a step back. Both unless and if not mean except if. So, when I say I'll go to the park if it doesn't rain, or I'll go to the park unless it rains, I can also say that as I'll go to the park except if it rains. So, only in the event that it doesn't rain. The rain will be the only thing that will stop me from going to the park. I'll go home except if my manager asks me to stay means that I will go home only in the event that they don't ask me to stay. So I will go home and the only exceptional circumstance that will prevent me from going home is if my manager asks me to stay. We can go out if you're not tired unless you're tired, except if you're tired. So we can go out only in the event that you are not tired. Your being tired is the exceptional circumstance that will prevent us from going out. The tricky part is that, as we've said, both if not and unless mean except if, but only if not also means because not. And when we want to give this idea of because not, we can only use if not and not unless. Let's go back to our original sentences. He'll be angry if I don't join the call and he'll be angry unless I join the call both of which are grammatically correct. The first one means that he'll be angry in the event that I don't join the call, so my not joining the call will be the direct cause of him getting angry. He will be angry because I do not join the call, so he'll be disappointed in me and angry at the fact that I do not join the call. This is where it gets tricky. We've said that unless means except if, so he'll be angry unless I join the call means he'll be angry except if I join the call. I know this sounds very similar to the first example, but there is a very subtle but important difference in the concept. This means that my joining the call is the 
only thing that will stop him from being angry or that will make him happy. So technically this means that he'll be angry already even before the call starts for whatever reason and my joining the call is the only thing that will appease him, satisfy him and make him happy and stop him from being angry. He'll be angry with the exception that I join. So my joining the call is the only exceptional circumstance that will stop him from being angry. So the main difference between these two sentences is that in the first one with if for not, my not joining the call is the direct cause of his anger, of him getting angry. He will be angry because because I do not join the call. He will be angry as a consequence of me not joining. But that's not the case in the second sentence where he'll already be angry for whatever reason, regardless of whether I do or don't join the call. And my joining will be the only exceptional circumstance under which he will be happy. So that would be the only thing that will stop him from being angry. Let's have a look at these two other sentences. I'll be surprised if she doesn't call you and I'll be surprised unless she calls you. In the first one, I'm saying that her not calling you will cause me to be surprised. I'll be surprised because she doesn't call you. I'll be surprised as a direct consequence of her not calling you. The second sentence, however, means I'll be surprised except if she calls you, meaning that I'll be generally and naturally always surprised and her calling you is the only thing that will stop me from being surprised, which means that this sentence makes virtually no sense at all. In the previous two sentences about joining the call, we saw that both if not and unless are correct with different meanings. But in this case about being surprised, saying I'll be surprised unless she calls you virtually makes no sense. So we can't really say it. So this is a case where it is actively wrong to use unless instead of if not. On a completely different note from any connection to if not or except if, unless also has other meanings. In initial position of a reply in a conversation, not unless means only if. So I can say, can you eat that? And you can say, not unless it's gluten free. This means that you are a celiac, so you can't eat gluten. So you can eat that only if it's gluten free. Are you going to the party? not unless you're going to means only if you're going to. In spoken conversations, put in initial position unless is used to add an extra thought. If you say Alice has bought herself a wonderful ring, I can say unless it's from a secret admirer. So I'm also considering the fact that it could have come from a secret admirer. It doesn't necessarily have to have been her buying herself a ring. I think Tom has a cat now, unless his cat's sitting someone else's cat. Here I'm expressing my thought and idea that maybe it's not his own cat. Now I'm pretty sure this is technically grammatically correct, but just don't risk it in an English exam. With this meaning, we can use unless with a negative verb only with this meaning. So you can say Tom works from home so you can always find him at this address and I can say unless he doesn't live there anymore. So in this case I am contemplating the idea and the thought that maybe he doesn't live there anymore. So that would be the only case where you wouldn't find him. And that's it for today. If you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel down below. And do let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the difference between if not and unless and if you'd ever even thought about it before today. In the meantime I will see you on Tuesday with another explanation video.